Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Maya with Simply Bloom. So today we're planting a few things. We have a heat wave coming, which isn't going to be super hot for a lot of you guys, but we've been in the mid 60s to high 60s for our high. So like 67, 68. It's been nice to work in but I feel like the garden has just stopped growing because it's been getting down into the high 40s low 50s at night time so it's like just sitting there um so we we're going from that and we're jumping all the way up to 90 degrees <laughs> which that's I mean that's a big jump just to go like that so that's supposed to get here in a few days so I'm going to try to get a bunch of stuff in the ground because uh, whenever I plant in the 90s they just they don't look like they're loving life so I was like let's get them in the ground it'll give them a few days to kind of adjust so let me show you what I'm going to plant oh well I can tell you first and then I'll show you where I'm going to put it I have four penstemon that I'm going to be planting, some columbine, and two hostas. Okay, this is a penstemon, severely root bound. <laughs> I need to get it out of the container ASAP. This is the Dakota Burgundy penstemon. And oh, you can see a few blooms. They are absolutely gorgeous. I left the seed pods on. Um, cause I thought those would be pretty, oops, it's not even focusing. I thought those would be pretty in arrangements, flower arrangements. And look at that burgundy color with that Irish moss behind it. That is, that's gorgeous. Okay. So I'm going to be putting this penstemon in this flower bed. And I talked about this in one of my other videos. I think I was planting the bearded irises, um, which I put there and there. So I asked you guys if I should plant the penstemon in that bed or if it'd be overcrowded. So half of you were like, no, it'll be a little bit overcrowded, don't plant it. The other half was like, oh, you know, that height and that dark color of the burgundy would be perfect in that bed. And then the person that, you know, really called it was my husband. <laughs> he wants the penstemon in this bed as well. So it's going in, I 100 ex 100% expect me having to move everything here eventually because right in the center I have three monge lilacs planted. Monge lilacs get I think it's like 8 to 12 feet tall and 8 to 12 feet wide so eventually we're gonna have like this massive canopy. I want to prune it so they're more like a tree and not a bush. If you've seen Laura from Garden Answer she pruned her lilac tree like that. Or, her lilac into a tree and I loved it so eventually this will be a shade bed but for now I am enjoying it as a sun bed and I will just move things when I need it's so funny when I first became a gardener I was like I'm gonna plant things where I don't have to move them because I don't ever want to have to move plants now now I'm like mm, who cares if I move them I'll need to move them whatever doesn't matter so penstemon's going there next I have these two patriot hostas um that i actually got from a friend's house and those are going right in here i had two garden flocks right there but it's planted under my limelight standard which is just starting to bud up and they just got too much shade i have two here which they're doing better um, but since it's too much shade back there, I'm just going to plop the two hostas right back there. That's some sort of Wygelia. I'm not sure the variety, but I like the variegation. It will never bloom, but I love the variegation. And then next, I'm thinking about planting some columbine here. This is a big oak tree. I love this tree. Uh, it has some dead limbs that we're going to take care of this fall. But I was thinking of planting some columbine right around the base. Oh my goodness. Look. Look at that. It looks like it just caught a snack. Oh my gosh, the camera's not doing it justice, but it is just glistening in the sun. I love that. Okay, so. For sure, I think I'm gonna do three columbine. I'm not sure if I wanna put any in the back or not, just cause you never come back here. Like ever, never come back here. Two, three. 
But yeah, that's the plan. So let's get to planting. By the way, that's all dianthus that I just cut back, not weeds. <laughs> so hopefully it will reflash with beautiful blooms. Okay, you guys, it is a while later. I think it's like a week later. Oh, I was painting. That's why I have paint on my arm. But I am, for the most part, done. Let me show you where everything went. All right, the penstemon went here, and everything's looking pretty darn good. You know, all the echinacea's blooming now. I love that dark color foliage with everything else. You can see the blooms really really pretty this area needs mulch so bad so bad um hopefully i can get that soon but yeah i just put it on four corners right there and i think that looks really good and then over here i put two columbine and i wanted to put a third one right here because i need to come in and cut back that bleeding heart but i wanted to leave it just to kind of show you and I was thinking if I put a columbine right here, you know, partway through the season, this needs to get cut back. So then there's that hole. So if I had a columbine right there, that would just kind of fill in the gap a little bit. But this tree root comes down. And how I got this one planted, I don't even know. But this is just all tree root right in there. And I can't even dig down. So no columbine. But this is a really pretty blue one. And then I also planted a few foxglove. And that is the Camelot Lavender. So there's a foxglove, foxglove, foxglove. But that is it. I wanted to plant the hostas that I was telling you about, but they're the Patriot, so the variegated white ones. And I kind of put them in that corner where I wanted to plant them. And I have a variegated Wygelia as well so i'm worried it's too much variegation plus i have some pink and whitish pinkish flax so there's just like a lot of variegation going on so i'm gonna leave them there for a couple days and just see if i like that or i know i definitely want a hosta there but i wonder if i should do more of a solid color not so much variegation so let me know what you think let me know but that is it 
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.